Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for uh, watching all of our videos. Um, appreciate all the constructive comments and also some of the advice for YouTube. Um, this is not my full-time job. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, this is mostly for information. So hopefully you'll like the videos uh, from that standpoint, even though they're not gonna be very artistic. Um, so with that said, uh, I just wanted to go over some of the things we've been doing for the last couple of days and uh, give you uh, an idea of what we're gonna be doing moving forward. So we've been uh, basically getting the car ready, doing uh, some of the gapping on the doors, getting the doors to open properly. Um, we've been trying to get the panels fit, mounted. Uh, that takes a lot of work because uh, when you're doing a car from scratch, there's <laughs> no body mounts or anything you have to make or fabricate everything. So, so that's taken quite a bit of time, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you uh, what we've done um, and you know show you what we have to do. There's obviously some fitment issues that we're coming across and we're gonna have to address those. So, uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done. So first and foremost, we've uh, done quite a bit on the rear end of the car. Um, this gap here is actually gonna be taken care of by a mount and it'll be scooched up next to this body panel. This will be a vent that air can come through and we'll actually 3D print something that looks pretty cool for this. So that's what we're doing here. Back here, we got a bit of a warp, so you can see that the fitment is relatively good, but we're going to have to address this. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. We do have a steel frame underneath, and so we're going to try and get that uh, bent properly and see if we can't fix that gap. I've done uh, some welding on the roof. We've uh, put together a lot of the pieces to make it a lot more uh, rigid. Uh, we still have a, quite a ways to go on that. The doors, they're fitting better. We still have some warpage on this panel. I talked about those in my distortions video and we'll see how I'm gonna try to address these. So stay tuned for that one. But as you can see, the doors do open quite nicely. So we're pretty happy with that. They uh, come down a little hard when they close, but that's another thing to work on. And the gaps are getting better. Um, obviously, we'll have some body work to do there. So the other thing is, you can probably notice that here on the wheel well on the front, we've got a little bit of an issue. It looks goofy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to scribe around that area, and then we're gonna cut it out and make it look much, much better. And then we'll have to uh, repair the carbon fiber uh, once we do that. Now I've done that many times and it seems to work quite well, so I'm not too concerned about doing all of that. The hood has given me quite a bit of uh, trouble. Um, obviously the gap here needs a lot of attention. So one of the things that we'll be working on is getting that gap uh, straightened out and then these gaps are a little bit tight so we have to work on those as well they're a little too tight um, I've had some questions about the vents in the front they're actually for the AC condenser they turned out pretty nice and I think that they'll uh, allow for a lot of airflow for the condenser the next thing is is we've got to remove some of the bagging material on the front fascia which obviously has not been uh, completely removed. Um, so this is just to help us get the uh, parts together and start gapping things. Again, wheel well, we have that issue. We'll get to that. Doors, doors are looking pretty good. They're opening nicely, they're not rubbing. So uh, we have a little more gapping to do. And again, on the driver's side, you can see here, we do have some warpage that we have to take care of. On the interior, we're, uh, we've got a few things working. We've got the dash working, the uh, ECU computer working, all of that's going on. 
And next thing to do is to get the shifter uh, hooked up. Uh, we have the uh, brakes to do, so that's actually next on the list after the shifter. So we'll go over uh, doing all of that work as well. Anyway, I hope you like these videos. Uh, again, they're pretty informational, but um, we appreciate all the interest we've gotten in the project. We are going to continue to make these informational videos. Uh, we're not going to use the other camera where you can't hear me, so hopefully this one has a better picture and um, a better audio. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, keep the comments coming. Uh, we like constructive criticism. Uh, we also like um, ideas on what we can do. So see you next time. Bye-bye.